Joining me are Mark Brenner from the University of Phoenix parent company, Apollo Education Group, and Robert Muth, supervising attorney at USD's Veterans Legal Clinic. Bob, the numbers are pretty stark. $600 million in college assistance for Iraq and Afghanistan veterans has been spent on schools that are so bad they don't even qualify for state financial aid. If that's the case, how are students ending up there? Well, I think it's a combination of factors. I think the number one uh, consideration that I, would, I believe leads veterans to a lot of these more suspect for-profit education companies is the particularly aggressive recruiting tactics that they use. Um, they are out in force with almost telemarketer style tactics where they will make calls to veterans sometimes five or six times a day, uh, papering their inboxes with emails or with actual physical letters. They recruit heavily towards the bases in places where veterans usually find themselves. Um, so I think that's the number one driving factor of why veterans are picking these for-profit schools. But when we think of returning veterans, we think of people who've seen hardcore combat. They've got to be quick on their feet and, and have quick mental skills. Are they not able to distinguish between um, a good school and a bad school? No, I think what you have to keep in mind is many of the individual veterans returning from Iraq and Afghanistan and now looking to make a successful transition to the civilian world are oftentimes the first person in their family to go to college. They're a few mm -hmm. years removed from high school. They don't have that trusted principal or academic advisor or teacher who might be able to pull them aside and say, this is probably a good place to invest your education dollars and this might not be such a good place. So I think it's more an issue of they just don't have all the information that they need in order to make an informed decision. Mark, more than $1 billion in GI money has been spent at the University of Phoenix in the last five years, according to the Center for Investigative Reporting. Now, the Department of Education says that the graduation rate at the University of Phoenix is at 15%. I understand that you dispute that. What, what is the graduation rate? Yeah, so thank you for having me and uh, excited to be here. Uh, the graduation rate at the University of Phoenix is between 35 and 37 uh, percent. We've reported that data quite publicly. Uh, as Where does the Department of Education get its figure from? So the Department of Education only counts first-time, full-time students. And as Bob would agree, most military students have some form of education going coming back from service. So they wouldn't even be counted in the metrics. So we've found that, uh, along with Secretary of Education, Ray Duncan, that the data that the department currently has in reports is, is quite suspect and inaccurate. And frankly, the secretary said that publicly. So uh, we know that there's a lot of improvement to be made in the, in the data reported. We know that there are a lot of things that need to be done for military students. Uh, signing on to the president's shopping sheet, which uh, University of Phoenix was one of the first schools in the country to do, making sure that you have a memorandum of understanding with the Department of Defense, certainly making sure that uh, to the extent those that are doing things inappropriate are held accountable. Uh, it is not appropriate for uh, some schools to uh, market to military students in ways that are uh, high pressure sales. Okay, I, I don't want to get offensive. too far away from that 30 to 35 percent graduation sure. rate that, that you just cited. That's not a very good graduation rate. Sure. So, so the national average graduation rate is about 50 percent. Uh, state schools in uh, California, I think it's roughly 22 uh, percent in the community colleges. I think we can all do better with college graduation. I think University of Phoenix is leading the way. We're committed to uh, increasing retention, committed to uh, better outcomes for students. And yeah, I think everybody in higher education should be making as their number one priority, helping students achieve that graduation and get a good job. Bob, what's needed here, though, to ensure that these students who are using precious taxpayer dollars and who have served their country and need an education so they can get a decent job aren't ending up at the wrong institution? Sure. I think there's two main functions that we need to do in order to ensure that these hard-earned taxpayer dollars are well spent. First, I think we need more information available to the veterans. So while it's certainly uh, great that University of Phoenix is willing to come on and say some of their graduation rates at this time, I think one of the real frustrations those of us who are veterans advocates feel is that as different bills have gone through the state assembly and state senate, they have oftentimes been stripped of some of the most important provisions, those that would require schools to provide accurate data to veterans. Um, I think the second thing that's needed is an, an effective enforcement mechanism. Right now, uh, the reason veterans are coming to our legal clinic where we provide free legal services is because there isn't a great resource for them to turn to when they feel that they've been scammed out of their for, by a for-profit school from their education benefits. So I think 
those two combined, more education and more enforcement, would really go a long way in helping to ameliorate this problem. Mark, very quickly, um, the, the cost of an associate degree at the University of Phoenix is 10 times the amount that it is at a community college. What percentage of the students graduating from the University of Phoenix actually get jobs? Uh, we, we don't have data on the overall percentage that, that get jobs, but I will tell you this, uh, you know, you look at someone like Natalie Bryant, uh, Marine, graduate of ours, Bachelor's of Business Management, uh, you know, over at Warner Brothers in Los Angeles. We, we serve military families across the United States and serve them well, and particularly here in California. I, I would agree uh, that we need to continue to provide better measures across all of higher education. And we've got to close it there. Mark, Robert, thanks so much for coming on the program. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much.